Hey, welcome to Maximum Bass Speed. I want to do a video analysis here of Sierra Romero, and I want to explain to you some of the things that she does that make her such a great hitter. Now, Sierra uh, has one of the most uh, accomplished players that ever came out of softball. She's just ranked among the top ten that probably ever played the game. Just an amazing player. And one thing I want to mention also, too, is a lot of the things that I'm going to bring up in this video, I just came up with a new hitting plan. It's called Build Your Swing Plan, and it's about two hours and 45-minute video, and I get into great detail about what players like Sierra Romero uh, do in their swing and other high echelon elite players, whether in softball or in baseball. So if you're interested, get a hold of me. I'd, I'd love to talk to you or uh uh, communicate with me via email. I'd, I'd love to tell you more about it if you're interested. So let's get started here with uh, Sierra Romero. First thing I want to show you here is this, that when you want to start off with a high level swing, you want to put your weight in the instep of your foot and the inside of your ankle, inside of your inner leg. And the reason why is because you want to post up against a firm back leg. It's crucial that you do this. Now, pay attention what's going on right here with Sierra. She starts to get into her negative move right here into her gather. You can see here is very obvious here as she reaches the apex of her gather of her negative move you can see here that she's posting up against a firm back leg now why is this so important well the reason why is because what happens if your knee gets over your back foot or even behind it you're going to end up having a lot of timing issues what's going to also occur there's a possibility instead of your your energy or your stride going horizontal in other words working towards the pitcher as you start getting into your forward move it tends to move up a little bit therefore at higher levels it ends up giving you more of a timing issue so you don't want to do that now if we go further on with this analysis right here pay attention what's going on with her swing again and right now she's at the apex of her gather watch how her back elbow works back and behind her and you can see right here as she gets into toe touch and I bring this up in my videos all the time you can see here that she has a beautiful shoulder to shoulder to elbow look where her shoulders are pointing to the second baseman this is crucial you can also see here that her bat's like a classic 45 degree angle right behind her this is very important in order to have the correct swing path as you get into your heel plant very just beautiful job right there another thing that she has here which I bring up all the time you want to have a nice long base as you're starting to get into your toe touch you want to have this 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 allows you to use to use your legs better you want to use your legs better it's crucial that you do that now as we go on further here as she gets into her heel plant you can see right here her shoulders are still closed again this shows me that she's applying great pullback and you can see also too that her bat right here is still behind her at this stage of the swing which is crucial and she still is maintaining that slightly bent arm this is going to give her a beautiful compact swing through the ball and it's very important to learn how to do this and I talk about all this in my video that I produce so if you get a chance again get a hold of me and I'll explain to you more about it now watch what's going on right here you can see right here when it gets to the leveling part of the swing you can see that her elbows here right now and as she starts to get into her leveling where her elbow starts to work up to the height of the mouth as she gets to the point of contact you can see here that her now her elbow is moved up to the height of her mouth now as I draw a line right here right where her el where her mouth is and I do this all the time just to show my students and show my clients and when I'm working with YouTube how this is such a consistent kind of m move that players do at the highest level whether it be the MLB or whether it be elite softball players and another thing you're going to see here is this which is very common too which is this is great mechanics the elbow again height by the mouth you can see the forearm going down and the barrel below the hands and you can see right here that she has a beautiful hitters box now the reason why this is so important is this because if you have angles like this now pay attention what's going on with her arms you can see here she gets to the point of contest she can hit to the ball and through the ball and again because now this is post contact right here and see how her how her elbows right here her forearms right here and you can see here that the barrel is still below the hand and she still has room for extension right here and this is all because she levels correctly and again I bring this up in my video how important it is to level correctly it's crucial to have high level leveling in order for you to become a better hitter in order for you in order for you to get to the highest levels of playing softball or baseball now you can see how beautifully she's compact right here now the reason her bat falls into this beautiful slot right here is all a cause and effect is because she has great pullback and it all starts with great 
tempo starts with a great pullback right here and again she's still pulling back still pulling back still pulling back with her back arm still resisting therefore allowing her to have this great path to the uh, to the ball and again very compact swing and again this can only occur with great pullback and I talk about that in my video that I produce it's crucial that you apply great resistance great pullback with great tempo now watch what happens when she gets to her heel plant right here everything stops and you can see here if I draw a little arrow over her head you can see as she gets the heel plant all she's going to do from there now is just rotate beautifully to the ball and through the ball in, in a front axis right there this is giving her tremendous rotation through the ball as she gets into her heel plant just beautiful job right there and again this is so crucial to understand how important a heel plant is how important it is to square up the hips watch how she squares up the hips even though she doesn't release her back foot completely you can see here that it's obvious that her belt buckles pointing towards the pitcher and also too it's very obvious even though she did not release her back foot completely that her back foot has an angle like this where she's not squishing the bug she's allowing her back foot to release even though it doesn't move forward like you see for example in Lauren Chamberlain and again just like Lauren Chamberlain you can see here with Sierra just beautiful again I cannot uh, emphasize this enough these mechanics right here that she's applying are at the highest level these, these are mechanics that you need in order to play at the highest level and again it's crucial to understand that when you uh, compare what's going on, for example, right now with Sierra and what goes on with players like Lauren Chamberlain or Brandy Malero and so many other players that I respect so much as far as their mechanics, you're going to see almost identical kind of mechanics going on that as they transfer their weight forward, their elbow is going to be working back and behind them. They're going to get into a beautiful toe touch with the elbow, the shoulder to shoulder, the elbow look. You're going to see as they start to get into their heel plant, they're going to have just this beautiful right there where they get to the front side. Everything's going to stop with a great bat slot. Everything, the elbow working up to the height of the mouth, barrel below the hands to the point of contact, hitting to the ball and through the ball with great extension with a great orbit now again these are high level mechanics and these are very obtainable very achievable but it's very important that you understand that a great swing starts from the ground up it starts with the setup it starts with knowing how to use your body correctly and again the video that I produce I truly believe will help you to understand how to do this and how to do it in a sequential manner so that you don't ever have to work backwards again get a hold of me at MaximumBassSpeed.com or on my Gmail account I'd love to tell you more about it I'm sure it will help you it's helped so many people throughout the years and thank you always for supporting my channel I hope you learned something here about Sierra Swing and again thank you so much for always supporting my channel have a great day